Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of the Hashtag United FIFA 22 Create a Club Career Mode. In the last episode, it was a very poor start to the season. Um, myself was just getting frustrated. We are just struggling to just score, defend, just everything. Everything was going wrong last episode. We're still looking to find our first win of the season as we are currently 21st in the table. Four games played, only three points in out of those three games it's only been three draws not very good so uh, someone in the comments has requested for me to sign scott pollock back to hashtag united he is a former hashtag united player in real life who eventually signed a pro contract with northampton town he's a century mid so he would fit our system very well i'm currently scouting him right now i don't know his overall same thing i found exeter city century back i'm still waiting on his overall to come back to us he's only he's worth 200k but these three players that i have shortlisted in the transfer hub are players i'm gonna try and bring in on loan to hopefully boost the squad and boost you know the morale or something in the team to just get us going we just need a little bit better talent especially out of the back but anyways we're home at the lynn salmon stadium looking for our first win of the season to hopefully get us on the right track i think part of the reason why we've been struggling my players been playing so bad is because i haven't been doing the training sessions meaning their sharpness hasn't been going up which that is very crucial in career mode you have to be doing those training sessions to get the sharpness up so my main 11 isn't dropping an egg every single game but we just need to defend we just need to defend good oh my gosh like see it's just so they just move so slow another shot from train Rovers right at gunther and, oh, dude, my players just move so slow with their job. Oh, man, it's just frustrating. And we go 1-0 down. Tranmere Rovers find the opening goal 22 minutes in. Great ball this weak side. Schwartz is in. Great ball from Sheeta. We have Ricky J. Jones in the box. Can he get his level? And, yes, he does. Ricky J. to Jones finds the equalizer. And what a build-up for the boys. That is a great team goal. Everything's just so bad with them. Their positioning is going to be bad. But what a great ball for Hawks. Kuhn, what a save from Gunther. What a save. He is coming up big for us right now. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. For some wide. Yes. Again, what a save from Gunther once again, man. He is keeping us in this game. He is he's the man of the match by far. By far, he's the man of the match. Ricky, make a run. Yes, Ricky is slipped in. Come on, Ricky. For post and oh. He just puts it wide. Kuhn does well to win that ball, but again, they get slipped in. And yes, that is the final whistle. <sighs> It ends in a 1-1 draw. We had chances to win the game. They had the majority of the chances to win the game. But we should have done better. I wish Ricky would have finished his second chance. Well, we got the scouting reports back on the three players we want to try and loan in and their overalls. Scott Pollock is a 51 overall. Not bad. His best stats is balance and agility. And then Alex Hartridge from Exeter City. He's a 62 overall. Potentially take away Exeter City's best defensive player. Player swap. Wingers will give you this guy maybe 100k they want geronimo grande i think we do it i think we do it i know geronimo's on my bench let's check if he's on my bench if he's on my bench it's gonna be kind of a big blow but no geronimo grande is not even on my bench so i mean it's kind of a win for us we're getting rid of a player that i won't even use so bit of a win we get a much better century back to pair up against valho he wants a crucial yes he's on 800 pounds a week we will offer him a four-year contract we be with us for a while no release clause and i am thinking i'll match you with your wage and then maybe a thousand dollars signing bonus that's fair and yes that is good enough for him to join the club another player into the side we got a sentry back but scott pollock we will approach to loan and hopefully he will be willing to leave to come over we're gonna do a loan to buy a two-year loan to buy and they are willing to let him go we'll split his wage we'll pay most of it it's very very cheap surely like just 30k we'll just bump it up by five that should be good enough he will go up and over on hopefully scott pollock is willing to join the boys back up we will just quick send this one hopefully we get the result and we get a 1-0 win well done the boys the first win of the season and it's not even in league it's it's a quick sim wow 
But anyways, hopefully we can get the first win of the season away against Northampton United. We are wearing our blue kits once again. Our beautiful blue kits. Hopefully we can get the result this time. Right there. Great ball into Schwarz. Great run. But you could see Duke making a great run. The sweat across the box into Arvin. And the boys go 1-0 up against Northampton Town. But there's still tons of time to be played. And what a third man run from Schwarz. I mean, that was a beautiful run. A brilliant ball. I mean, look at... I mean, just a great ball. Slips in Duke. Unselfish to play it across the six for the easy tap in and the boys go one nil up slips in Schwarz into Suarez go on Suarez Slip in Doyle first time and yes The boys find a second it is Tommy Doyle And that should win us the game the boys go two nil up on the road against Northampton Town the cutback one more and the Tommy Tommy sets it up can he get a second yes he can he can get his second and it's 3-0 to the boys in blue Tommy Doyle getting a brace let's go man I can maybe get a third Suarez getting slipped in and referee I know we're 3-0 up but oh my gosh we were slipped in that should have been four 4-0. You know what? I'm not even going to be mad. I'm not, I am not. can't even be mad. We won. We finally won our first game of the season in league play. All right, guys. Next game is against first place Exeter City. And this is what's his name's old team. This is Hartridge's old team that we bought him off. So they're, we're home at the beautiful Lynn Salmon Stadium. And hopefully we can shock everybody by picking up a big win against the league leaders. Oh, their front three is going to be pacey. Come on, Schwartz, get there. No cross. And oh my gosh, what a finish. Eight minutes in. Exeter City find the back of the net. Terrible pass. Slipping Ricky. Maybe the cutback. Nope. Great feet. Great feet. Maybe whip one. Oh, he puts it wide. <sighs> It's a 1 0 loss to the league leaders, Exeter City. Not bad. We had chances at the end. Starting 11 still going to stay the same. They're playing with a five back, so hopefully we can break them down. We just need to grab one early. I think if we, if we score first, like we did against Northampton Town, we'll be fine. Uh, Ricky. Ricky can't do anything with it. Hopefully, Tommy can. And the Duke. And Duke! What is that? An own goal? It's an own goal. But I don't care. We scored and we start the game out on the front foot. Ay, 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 ay. Pace, 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 pace out wide kills us. What a save from Gunther. What a save from Gunther. This dude is unbelievable. Can we find a second to put this game away? Ricky, great run. Cut back. Put it up. Find Arvin. Oh, what a save. What a save. What a save. What a save. Come on, Tommy. Win it. Arvin coming back on sides. Slips in Duke. Well done. Go on, boys. Go on, boys. That is beautiful football. That is beautiful football. Make changes. and Actually, I'm not even going to make changes. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make changes to the outside backs. And guess what? We're just going to actually we'll take off Arvin. We're just going to sim. We're just going to sim. I, I'm confident in us. 2 no win, and they get a red card. Let's go, boys. We finished the episode off in 16th place. We finally won our first game of the season. We actually won two games. We beat third place Carousel United, and that is a great, that's a great sign for the boys. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like as well as commenting down below, letting me know what you guys think of the episode. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on so you never miss an upload. Anyways, it's been your boy Elac, and I'm out. Peace. Thank you.